What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this distressed medium wooden American flag. Let's get started. Alright, so first up we're going to get our stripes cut. So we're going to need one inch stripes and we're going to need six of them at 24 and 5 eighths and seven of them at 14 and 5 eighths. And I'm just gonna be using these scraps to rip down uh, just cause I already have them. But the wood that you'll need for the stripes, if you wanna buy it, is three one by twos. And make sure you, that you don't get one by twos with the rounded edge. Uh, if you do, just make sure that you rip off that rounded edge and then you rip off your one inch. All right, so I got those cut and for my union, I just have some one by eight and I'll cut it at 10 inches and then I'll go ahead and rip it at whatever these measure to. Uh, it looks like I got seven and one sixteenth, but just go ahead and measure it just in case your stripes aren't perfectly one inch. And then that way it'll line up nicely. All right, now that we got that cut, uh, I just got this piece of plywood here. It's a scrap I used from the uh, Punisher sign that I did. And this is a two foot by four foot piece. So I'm just gonna keep the, the 24 inches for my length, but I'm gonna cut the width to 12 and a half. So I'll have a piece at 24 inches by 12 and a half. And then that is what we'll use for the back. All right, so now we got our plywood cut. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is put the distressed look on our stripes and union. So I'm gonna be doing the same style distressed look that I did on the other distressed flag that I did. So it just gives it a cool, yeah, just a cool distressed look. And the way that I do this is using one of these graph wood blades. Uh, this is on a Dewalt grinder. And what I'll do is just put this right on the edge of the table, clamp it down so that it's not gonna move anywhere, clamp it down good and tight. And then I'll just do half of it and then I'll flip it around, clamp it and do the other half. I have not had any problems with this thing, but I know it can be a little scary putting a wood cutting blade on a grinder. So make sure that you have your handle and just make sure you keep both hands on the grinder and uh, just go nice and slow. And if you don't feel comfortable doing it, uh, don't do it. Uh, just, you can always just do rounded corners on these uh, or you don't have to do anything on the corners at all and it'll still turn out um, looking great. So please uh, do this with care. Make sure you wear glasses also because this thing is gonna be putting out wood chips. And I'll go ahead and show you in a quick video what it's gonna look like. And then I will go ahead and distress uh, the rest of these, but please keep safety first. All right, so it's going to look something like that. And as you can see, I just hold it at an angle and then just kind of move it in and out and uh, try to make sure you don't keep it, try to make sure you don't have it too uh, angled so the sides don't go super far down, just have it more, uh, just at a light slant. And then I also do the ends a little bit, but we can go ahead and get the rest of these done. All right, so now that we are done with that, uh, I'm just gonna quickly go over it with the sander. Uh, you can use any fine sandpaper. I got 180 grit on here, and we're just gonna go over the surfaces uh, just to take away any of these little uh, imperfections. So you don't have to get too carried away with it. Uh, we're just gonna go over it real quick. All right, so next up we're gonna torch them. Uh, you can kind of do this however you'd like to. I like to do, for these ones, I'll just do it um, nice and dark on both the edges. And then these ones are narrow enough to where the middle will get a nice burn uh, just doing it like that. But I just like to make sure I bring out all the notches like I did in this one. Like I said, these ones are small enough. They'll be super simple. 
I uh, just got a uh, propane torch here and I'll go ahead and show you real quick. And then depending on if you're gonna like put a frame on yours or not, you just wanna make sure that you do the very bottom one, you do the whole bottom and then on the very top one, you do the whole top and then you also do the sides as well. something like that and we can go ahead and get the rest of those torched. All right so next up we are going to stain them. So I just got some red white and blue stain here. The red is Scarlet. This is Minwax. It's from Lowe's. Uh, these are all water-based and they are the clear tint based. So you have to have them tinted at the store. The blue is navy blue. Uh, this is Varathin water-based wood stain. The stuff is from Home Depot. Uh, so is the white. This is just tinted in white. Uh, last I checked, Home Depot did have the Scarlet also. So you could get all three from Home Depot. I'm not sure if Lowe's has the blue and the white, but I'm sure they do. You just got to look for the tintable base on the shelf and then have them tint it and i will just be using a rag to stain and usually i'll do uh three coats of each color just let it dry all the way in between uh to get the color that i like and then once again same with the torching make sure that you stain the very bottom and the sides of these and then also it kind of helps to stain inside the edges as well even in the middle just in case they don't line up perfectly. Uh, that way you don't see any bare wood in there. For the white ones, you probably don't have to worry about it since it'll be white anyways. But at least for the red ones and the blue one, it definitely helps. All right, so next up, we can go ahead and get these all flipped over uh, backwards so that they are on their face on the table. And then once we got this flipped over, I'm gonna take some longer boards and I will use these uh, to put on the very top and then on the bottom to uh, clamp to. And I will just get this all clamped up nice and tight, make sure that the seam is nice and tight. And then I will just take this plywood here. Uh, I'll put a good amount of glue on the back, just kind of spread it out, do a nice big swirl here kind of get it all over the place then we're going to take our plywood and we'll just go ahead and center it on there as best we can uh you should have about a quarter inch gap on the top and on the bottom and then once i get it on there i'm just going to push down and then go through i got an 18 gauge brad nailer i'll use one inch nails on this and then i'll go through i'll do a strip of nails right on the end i'll do one right where this union is uh, right on the edge of that and then i'll do one right on the other side of the union where these stripes will be uh it'd probably be easiest to just mark out where these stripes are just to make sure that you don't end up nailing on a seam but i'll do a row uh just down to where these top ones end and then i'll do a row right here, just kind of in the middle of where those two are and then i'll do one on the very end so let's go ahead and get this all glued and nailed together All right, so next up, I'm gonna go ahead and seal it. I just got some of this 2X Ultra Cover uh, clear gloss and I'm gonna do two coats. I'll wait an hour between coats and just make sure that you go around the edges and then just try to go back and forth uh, nice and even over the face. All right, so I gave that sealer a few hours to dry and next i'm going to take my stencil here and i'm just going to go ahead and tape that in position 
and then I'll cover up the rest of this with some paper. Then I just got some white Ultra Cover Semi Gloss and I'll just do, I'll try to do a bunch of light coats so that it doesn't bleed through and try to make sure you hold it far enough away to where it's not gonna like blow the stencil up. Um, and then that should help to get them nice and clean. All right, so now we can go ahead and remove this. And there we have our stars. So I'm gonna go ahead and give those some time to dry. And then once they're dry, this part is optional, but before I put my hangers on the back, I'm just gonna tape off uh, around this edge. And then I'm just gonna spray just the edges of this plywood uh, with black, just so that when it's hanging on the wall, uh, you don't really see that. So I'll just use this uh, 2X gloss black. Uh, you don't have to use this kind. It doesn't make a huge difference, but I'll go ahead and spray those edges. And then once I do that, we just gotta put the hangers on and we'll be good to go. All right, and then the last thing that we have to do is throw some hangers on the back. So I just like to use these sawtooth hangers and I'll put them an inch and a half off the very top and then I'll go four inches off of either side uh, measuring th from the plywood and then that way they'll be uh, 16 inches apart um, for studs. All right, so that is it all finished up. I really like how these distressed ones turn out. And uh, I think this one's a cool size. It's not uh, super big and it's not too small either. Uh, if you guys got any tips or advice on how to make this thing better, uh, I'd love to hear them. I'd also love to hear any video recommendations that you guys might have for me. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, I can go ahead and link everything that I use down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and please have a great day. Yeah.